Hey everybody. Hey, hey, hey. hey everybody. Can y'all see us? Let's see. Um all right. Come on. <laughs> all right. Hey everybody. This is Demetria and no, no, no. Yeah. So we're going to talk to you guys a little bit today, but first I want to, let's see, um, hope everybody's day um, has gone good so far. Um, let's see. Yeah. So everybody is, you know, we got the coronavirus going on. We got different things going on, but we just wanted to come through because we just wanted to share with you guys. <laughs> uh, we just wanted to share with you guys. And so um, Nelvia is um, my daughter. I have, so I'm married to Christopher Davis. OK. And my before my husband and I got married, he had two daughters. One daughter, um, her name is Christian um, and she's 18. Y'all. Oh, <laughs> she she's a mess. <laughs> so she gra she's graduating. And um, they're here because we bought her a car. <laughs> she could drive. This girl, she's, she's gonna be crying. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe she, she's driving. That's what I'm saying. I just, I guess, I can't believe that she that she's driving. She's 18 now, y'all. She's 18. Um, so we have a 25 year old. We have an 18 year old, and we also have a. 15 year old, we have a 10 year old, and we have a four year old. So we have a we have a lot of kids. Yes, we have a, a plethora of kids. Now tell them how many kids, so how many other um, kids you have. Wow. So I have three, including Christian. So I have a eight year old girl named Dallas and a four year old girl named Erin. Mm -hmm. Right, and then Christian. Yes. So we have a big family, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to come and just talk about some things as far as, and y'all see me looking down, I'm just trying to um, share to some different people. Um, we just wanted to come in and we wanted to talk as two mothers, we wanted to talk about co-parenting and how it works um, with co-parenting. So I hope y'all have some questions um, and stuff like that too, because we definitely want you guys to um, ask questions. Um, we're going to be very candid. We're going to be very upfront. Um, we ain't gonna be fighting or nothing because we don't have that type yeah, of relationship. Uh -huh. We don't have that type of relationship. We actually have a very, very good um, relationship with each other. Um, we kind of gang up on Chris sometimes, but that's <laughs> true. That is true. We do. We do kind of. We do kind of do that. We'd be like, really, okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. 
Um, so one of the first things that I wanted to talk about was, I guess, you say, how do we meet? Kind of, or how did we, or how, how did you find out, like, like how, what was our first, I don't want to say interaction, but what was like the first time you, you heard of, you know, heard about me or whatever? Well, let's see here. Um, I found out that Chris was married to Demetria a week before they got married. <laughs> and we first met at Christian's fifth grade graduation. Yeah, fifth grade graduation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was the first time. Yeah, it was okay. sprung. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, but we were already married by then. So right. what was your um, reaction? Because if everybody doesn't know, my husband was married before me and him got married. Not to her, but it was another young lady. They were married. Mm -hmm. um, so um, he got married. He got a divorce. The war back from Afghanistan, mm -hmm. all that. And then he called me and said, hey. I'm getting married next week. And I was like, you just got divorced yesterday. <laughs> and I said, oh, here we go again. <laughs> right. So what was your what was your what was your thinking like? Well, you, you hadn't met me yet, but you were like, okay, he's going to get married. Like what were you thinking? Um I just said she she about it. Okay. <laughs> about okay. It. Um <laughs> Uh, okay, so you was like saying, so what was it that you were hoping for? Because you have a daughter, and of course, I'm going to interact with her. And so, yeah. were you kind of like, listen? No, I'm like, just really, I just, yeah, you know, I'm from up north, so mm -hmm. we're very like blunt. So I just, I just hope that she was nice and just right. more active with the girls. Okay, and like the first one. So, okay, yeah, right, that's about it. So. Your first interaction was like, okay, I hope she is whatever. So tell, yeah. so tell yeah. me how you felt, because um, you told me one time, like how you felt, like who is she, like yeah, because see, his first wife didn't really like interact with okay. the kids, so Demetria is all about the kids, so she would she'd say like, well, no, uh, we're gonna do this for Christian, and I'd be like, well, who are you to tell me what you're gonna do with my baby, and like. Mm -hmm. You know, we run over Chris. So he's like, Well, she said, I'm like, I don't care what she said. Mm -hmm. My child, she needs to talk to me first before mm -hmm. just thinking it's okay to do whatever she wants. Right. Um, but it was just unexpected because the first one did wasn't like that. So okay. and I'm used to doing things my way and right. she's used to doing things her way. Mm -hmm. So we just had to get to know each other better than that. We both have the sick girls interest. Right. And so that's um, I think that that's a really big thing when you're talking about co-parenting. Mm -hmm. um, number one, I never call Christian my stepdaughter, you know, and if anybody has, you know, and if anybody does that, I don't you know, I don't knock it for it, but mm -hmm. I just don't call Christian my stepdaughter. I call her my daughter. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm trying to take the place of Melvin because I'm definitely not trying to take the place and never could take the place of Melvia. But I just don't call her my stepdaughter. So I think one of the biggest things when you're talking about um, uh, co-parenting, one of the biggest things is what is, it was a question, it was a thing that I was like, what is the most important thing? What is, what is the center of co-parenting? Communication. Communication. Yeah. And what should be the end goal? Like who is the end goal, like who, like we're we're in this for the sake of the child, right? Exactly. So sometimes, exactly. you know, we have to put our differences to the side. We don't really. Have we, we, don't, <laughs> we don't have. We don't have. It's them. like yin and yang. Like she's the nice one and calm, and I'm the wow one and it's very upright. I mean, she could get a little crazy, but <laughs> I have no filter, and Demetria knows how to. Like, okay, no, so this is what we're going to do. And I'm just like, um, no, not going to happen. And so one of the things that um, I think is like, so our relationship, we do, we co-parent, you know, whatever. Um, but the crazy thing is me and her talk more than 
me and Chris do. Yeah. yeah. So I think like the other day she called me, I didn't answer, then Chris didn't answer. So we both kind of called her back at the same time. And um, my husband answered. And then she was she like, She called me and I was like, Okay, I gotta go to meet you on the other line. <laughs> like, I don't wanna talk to you no more. You just on the other line. Um, so I think one of the biggest things, like for us, is to us, we don't look at it, and I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. Um, I don't look at it as, and we don't look at it as, okay, I gotta deal with her. That's here. You know, that's my um, husband's baby mama. Like, I don't call her baby mama. I don't, I don't, and hey, if you do, hey, whatever. But I just say no, you know, Christian's mm -hmm. mom. So yeah. we don't look at it as a relationship of, okay, this is um, this wife or now like that. This is, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and we actually have a relationship outside of talking about stuff about Christian. Mm -hmm. Like we actually have a relationship where we're there for each other. We encourage each other. We like to do things together, you know, I'm like 50 miles, thousand right. miles away. <laughs> because she, she was actually going to come to my women's retreat last September, but we couldn't get any five. I was doing everything. I was trying to find somebody in Raleigh to be able to watch the baby because she has a daughter that has cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. um, and so that is a very, um, that is a job in itself. Um, and then she has two other kids that she right. has that she has to care for. Um, and um, let me see. Okay, somebody was just saying that's how it is with them. Uh, you know, because someone else on um, I think Instagram they do co-parenting as well. Um, so another question. Um, let's see. What were some apprehensions that before you met me, like apprehensions that you had as to okay. This is a set, you know, my um, Chris's second wife. Like, w were there any apprehensions that you may have had? Um, no, not as far as she goes. I was just thinking, like, he he doesn't make the best choices, so <laughs> it's like very good of him. <laughs> and so when you say it doesn't make the best choice, you were talking about because he was married before. Yeah, and he um, had just came home. Right. And it was I just felt like he was just jumping the gun. Okay. Yeah. So I think the thing that I like about the fact is that you said that um you know you were concerned because mm -hmm. he had just gotten home and you were mm -hmm. like, Okay, you're just getting home from Afghanistan, you need to kind of unwind. Right. So I like that because you were concerned yeah. about him. Yeah. We need to make sure that he just wasn't just doing anything. Like we're in the past, and I still care about him, so mm -hmm. I always want to make sure his best interests are being taken care of. Right, right. And so I love that the fact that you were concerned about his well-being and like, mm -hmm. okay, you know, you just got back from Afghanistan, you go through a lot when you're over there. You, you know, you might want to count time. You got to get you know, get into the force, and it was right. just like I didn't. Want him to be in the same mess he was before and just leaning on somebody because just you were the first person right. you gravitated to. So. Right. Right. And I mean, I respect that. I just respect the fact that you were concerned about him, mm -hmm. you know, because I mean, that is your child's father, mm -hmm. you know, and so, you know, y'all don't have that type of relationship where it's like, whatever. Yeah. You know, that, yeah. You know they don't have, they don't have that type of relationship. Um, and we already talked about, um, so, one of the things I wanted us to talk about what we value about each other the most. So I want to start. So I value um, because you are a wonderful mom. Oh, I told I tell you that all the time. Like you are a wonderful mom. Like you have three daughters. Um, and then with Erin, you know, you have to do yeah. so much with her. But you are a wonderful mom. Like you will hustle to do whatever it is <laughs> you got to do. Like you work hard. Tell, tell, can you tell everybody what, what you do, what your occupation is? Um, my main occupation is um, I'm a certified medical assistant at mm -hmm. Children's Hospital. Right. Um, I work in the ENT department, Air and Third Department. So I do kids, babies, and kids mm -hmm. with challenges, and right? Aids and things like that. Right. But guess what else she does, y'all? She can do hair. Yeah, I do. I'm a licensed stylist, so I do hair and um, nails. Oh, you do nails? And waxing. Yeah. But you do waxing too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you should have told me that, cuz. Oh, and I forgot to because I had my wax done. Offline conversation. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, we all are going through this little pandemic right now. Um, 
But yeah, so she does. And so that's what I value about her. She is a great mom. She is a wonderful mom. Um, she loves her kids. Like she's stern with her kids. Um, she loves each one of them differently. Yeah. Um, and she's just about her business. You know, she does what she got to do to get it done. She's not going to stop. She's a fighter. You're definitely a fighter. She's going to fight, fight to the end for them babies. Yeah. And so um, that is what I value about her. And I think that sometimes, you know, in relationships, when you co-parent and the other parent, you know, you don't have relationships like that. But she is an awesome mom. Like anytime, like, you know, you've heard those stories before where, you know, the, the child comes to visit mm -hmm. um, and you like, well, her mama didn't bring the, that's not her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anytime she would come, yeah. she always had her stuff packed. She always had her together. And then we would even communicate. If yeah, there's and something she would she tell would, me like, don't put all that stuff in her bag. <laughs> like, she don't need this. She don't need that. She don't need this. She's going to come back with stuff. Right. And you do. But I know I don't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. We used to buy, and then I would make sure that even before she went back home, you know, when she wasn't old enough to do it, because she looked, as time went on, she got old enough to do it. So I I would, her clothes were washed and everything before she, um, before she went back. Um, we used to go spend time together. We what well, we do nails. We go to eat. You know, we just do family. You know, family things. And so, um, um, I can say this. I remember the first time that we met, like met in person. I was like. I was like, she's probably not gonna like me. It was <laughs> nervous because it was my first time like meeting her. It was the fifth grade graduation. Middle school. Yeah. yeah. And I was nervous. Yeah. I'm really brought abrupt. I just I really don't think before I speak. And then her face sometimes can be just Oh yeah, I can be like nice, but my facial expressions are like no, she doesn't really mean that. <laughs> right. She, she's not telling the truth. Um so um as Co-parenting. You know, let me tell Oh, I'm sorry. She always got to be in charge. Oh, sorry. Demetria is very, very, very grounded. She doesn't let me get all out of hands. I can call her and be hysterical, wanting to fight somebody, and she'll be like, "Listen, no, that's not what you do." If I ever have an issue with Chris, I just, I don't even talk to him. I just call her because I already know <laughs> she'll get to the bottom of it. You know, she's like, no, you got to be like this. And, you know, he got to be like this. And this is what I got to do. And um, she cares for her kids just as much as I care for mine. And we're all mm -hmm. like a big family. Like when I come here, they make me feel welcome. The kids like gravitate to me. Like it's not like it's not a an adjustment, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, no, not no like, it's not like a, we gotta fit in or I gotta do this or like she makes she makes you feel welcome. She makes you feel at home, and she has the same values that I have, and we know where each other's coming from. So that's what I I really love about her. She mm -hmm. always makes me feel welcome. Someone asked me um, last year. So last year she took her girls to Disney Disney World, right? Was it? Well, no, you guys didn't go to um, Disney World. Florida. We went to Florida. No, yeah, we went to Disney, but we went to the Florida Resort. Right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so someone asked me um, after, I think after she had left, someone was like, so you let her stay in your house with you guys? I was, so, no, this is how it happened first. <laughs> so, um, she was like, yeah, well, we were going to come there um, and visit you guys. And I was like, okay, cool. And she was like, and so, can you give me your address? And I was like, yeah. You know, so I gave her the address or whatever. Um, and she was like, yeah, she was like, well, you know any good um, hotels um, that are around? And I was like, well, I was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, what you need a hotel for? Yeah. And she was like, well, I was like, girl, if you don't hush about a hotel. And I was going to start because I had the little one with me who requires a whole bunch of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I had her pulse lock machine. Mm -hmm. I had all this stuff. And I'm like, that is going to be such an inconvenience. No, not an inconvenience <laughs> at all. And yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, but someone was like, so you're going to let her stay with you? And I was like, 
Yeah. My concern was the post office the and the stuff from the right. baby, like all this luggage. And she was, she damn no. Like if I hadn't been bringing Aaron, I wouldn't even thought that other. No, we were fine. We were like, yeah, come on, we ready. Um, and and so someone was like, oh my gosh, you let. And it wasn't a thing of a trust thing at all. Mm-hmm. There's no issue there between her and my husband with mm-hmm. um with trust or anything like that. They were just like, oh my god, I cannot, you know, like that's like I don't think I would have ever um been able to do that. Um, someone says I got criticized for the same thing. I'm not sure what they talk what part what yeah. they're talking about. They were saying that they got criticized for um the st- for the same thing. Maybe calling stepkids or not calling stepkids. Mr. Tyrus was saying he got criticized for the same thing. But we did have a question. And someone asked, at what point did the kids start calling me mom? Well, actually, Christian called me Mama D. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm fine with that. Like she calls me Mama D. She may not say mom. And, mm-hmm. so, and I'm good with that. She calls me Mama D. And so I think it's to each his own. But if she did call me mom, yeah, I would be okay with it. Yeah. And I have my other daughter. She calls her Mama D too. Mama D right. and Uncle Chris. I mean, it sounds a little off, but <laughs> but she does. She calls she calls her Mama D. She calls right. Chris Uncle Chris. Mm-hmm. Like that. So yeah. And even like even sometimes when she talks, she might say Christian, you know, Christian's dad and her mom, mm-hmm. you know. And yeah. He, and, it's, and it's fine. Like earlier today, she was asking something. I said, you better go ask your mother because I'm not getting involved in that. <laughs> Don't ask your other mother because I'm not doing that today. I'm not doing that today. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Something else that I, um, let's see. So Mr. Tyrus was saying, I was saying I got criticized, critiqued by my family member for letting Ty father stay here when he was in town for Christmas. Well, and here's the thing. Everybody is different. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Everybody trust issues isn't aren't the same. Everybody has different values. Everyone is different. You know what I'm saying? And so it just depends on you and your home. Like when my husband and I met, we didn't have to have a conversation uh-huh. about Christian coming or even and so here's the crazy thing. I don't want to say it's not necessarily crazy, but when they came, when you guys came for the summer, she didn't, she wasn't hitting up my husband. Oh. Me and her had the conversation yeah. and I told him, I was like, oh babe, so, um, well, he didn't even know. Like, you know, and so I was like, hey babe, uh, Christian and Nobia and the baby yeah. girls, they're coming through, blah, 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 whatever. And he was like, oh, okay. And I was like, no, they're going to stay here. He was like, oh, okay, cool. So it wasn't even a thing of like that. We had to have this big conversation, big talk mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, we got to have boundaries and we got to do No, this. we didn't have to have we didn't have to have a conversation. You're just like, cool, when they come in, when they come in, okay, cool. And so I think everybody is different in what they expect. And here's the thing, you can't, your marriage is your marriage. Right. You cannot let other people dictate what you do in your marriage. I don't or care. in your house. In your house. Yeah, right. Those, like the boys, but those on in your house, stay in your, your house. house. Right. That's right. So, you know, if people are critiquing you, criticizing you, guess what? You are married to your wife, or you're married to your husband. If y'all okay with it, then oh well. And I wouldn't worry about what they think or how they feel, you know, about you letting the father of your um of your wife's um child, or, you know, her son. Yeah, it's all about a person's level of maturity and maturity. how each individual is mature and how mm-hmm. the relationship within the marriage is good. That's good. And People on the outside are good. Mm-hmm. Like there's, like I've never had an issue. Like it's just, mm-hmm. it is what it is. <laughs> uh, like today we were sitting there talking. We were talking about something with the car, and her and Chris was going back and forth. She was like, "Yeah, I was like, listen, no, this is not. You gotta stop it right now, right here." <laughs> like <laughs> I'm like the evil sister. Like no, this is not what's gonna happen. And I feel comfortable with that because. She, this is her husband, and she knows how he is. You know, <laughs> and to be honest, they, her, and my, they are both like very strong. Like they both stubborn. They're both like strong, strong willed. I'm strong willed too, but like, like bullheaded. they bullheaded. Like, get out of control. Like, no. like they bullheaded. I call her for a buffer because I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm fitting to say some things to him. So you need to get help because <laughs> this. Not at all. I don't know if you remember, like, I don't know if Christian was just turning a teenager, but you called me and was like, okay, y'all don't have to come get her. 
I am. Mm-hmm. Like she yeah. called me upset, like y'all gotta come get your door mm-hmm. because she is going off. She I'm going to jail. Yeah, I'm gonna kill her. Mm-hmm. I'm go- she's going, she's going to jail. I'm gonna have mm-hmm. to, you know. Um, so as far as with co-parenting, let's talk about um giving each other space. And, in, and the importance of respect and space to be who we are. Um, because we all grew up different. We have, di- mm. you know, differences. Um, we may all have different, you know, values. You know, some of, for the most part, we got, a, we got values. But just about being in a different space and being able to respect your space, respect my space, and who we are, what we do, what we may not do, what we, you know, just who we are and what do you think the importance of being able to respect respect that and the differences and letting each other be who they are? I mean, well, we do things different, but it all comes to the same result. Right. You know? So you whereas think, I could yell and you can say the same thing when you calm, mm-hmm. but it's supposed to it's the same thing, basically. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, like Christian will come home and say, well, this is what... They said I had to do, and I'm like, well, okay, well, what were you doing, or what's going on with that, or you know, you have to. That's their house. Like, you, I don't run that house. <laughs> this is what you gotta do. And then if I ever feel concerned, then I'll call the teacher and say, well, this is what ha- this is what she said happened. What really happened? Because mm-hmm. I'm not believing the child. Um, so, and then it comes out different, but it also comes out different from Chris too. Mm-hmm. So. Not saying I believe one adult over the other. Mm -hmm. I just, I know she's the calm one and the level-headed one. And he can get out of control. So it's like, if I'm unsure, I'll talk to them both. But I'm really going to be talking to her. Mm -hmm. Because I know, you know what I mean? Like, I know, like, okay, well, let me just call Demetria and see what's going on. But... I mean, we're, we're always on the same page for the most part, like 90% of the time. If, if, if there's a disagreement or if we don't agree on anything, Demetria's usually the buffer on that. And she explains everything. Like, she tries to get us both to see each other's sides. But I really don't have, um, I mean, I know it sounds like, oh, they're, they're like pushing it or, you know, like lying, but we mm-hmm. really don't have like we really don't have issues with each other. Yeah. Um, we're like both. Hey. Yeah. Like, like she's like a sister to me. Like she can call me anytime. I can call her anytime. We joke, we laugh, like yeah. we keep it real with each other. And then one of the things that I like is like we give each other space to be who we are. Yeah. You know, um, you know, my husband and I were pastors, you know, or whatever. And she's not a disrespectful person anyway. But she's not disrespectful. She's not whatever. Um, we don't push like we don't push religion or nothing yeah. like that on her. I mean, when Christian comes here, you know, we you know we go to church, and Christian be like, oh, we're gonna wear or mm-hmm. we're gonna, you yeah. Know. So we do that, and she believes, you know, believes yeah. in a relationship. I, but I don't. We don't push that. You know, I don't push that on her, but I just like the fact of us, you know, we are different people. Like, she's from up north. Yeah. I'm from down south. But you went to school down here. Right. But I went to school down here. Right. It's like, I kind of got, like, I kind of understand the vibe down here and how people are raised down here as far as compared to up there. Right. So, not saying there's nothing wrong with being from up north, but we're just a little bit more abrasive. Mm -hmm. And, Blind and I remember this one of the first times I went to Philly uh, for pen relays, um, mm-hmm. and I walked into this restaurant. I think they get a Philly cheesesteak in this restaurant, and I was standing in line. And the dude looked at me. He was like, "You gonna order?" I was like, "Goodness!" I was like, "I'm just looking." He was like, "Shh," and he just went order. I was like, "Oh my god!" So to me, it was rude. But to y'all, it probably that's not that's our normal, right? Yeah, like you going, like, yeah, like what are you gonna do? <laughs> let's go, let's go, like patient, yeah, no, I don't, yeah, I don't have any patience. <laughs> um, so how are you feeling now that Christian's 18 and he's getting ready to go to college and that's right, all by our way, yeah, but seriously, 
not saying I'm not right in the range of my past life. She's not. <laughs> well, in her most times, we mm-hmm. both can be, but she's eight, she about to be out of the house. That girl ain't gonna be out of nobody's house, girl. She's gonna be coming home every weekend, getting on my nerves. So what you gonna do when she be like, oh, I ain't come home this weekend? I'm like, okay, my dad needs you to watch Aaron. <laughs> Well, she's, really, she's like you know, she's not really a going out person. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, she has a few little friends, mm-hmm. but she's really yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's a good she's girl. A, yeah, she's not the average typical eighteen year old that's right. out here today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like she's a she's a good yeah. girl. Um. So did anybody? Let's see. Does anybody have like any questions? Um. Any questions for us? Um, I love, you know, being able to do this because I think it's so important to I'm a relationship person. Like I value strong relationships. You know, I value I really do. I value relationships and um, cultivating those relationships, growing those relationships, keeping in contact with people. Um, And so I really value our relationship. Um, when she said they were coming, um, you know, they want to come down here, you know, get the car or whatever. I was like, okay, cool. And I was like, well, y'all not doing a turning bird. Y'all going to be staying, right? And I'm like, yeah, of course we are. Yeah. Yeah. Because when they come, I got to cook. Okay. I had my request. I like to put in. So her request, what do we have yesterday? Her request was she wanted salmon, red roasted potatoes. Um, I ended up making broccoli. I like to eat. Yes, she likes to eat. Um, and y'all know I like to cook. Mm-hmm. Um, but like when they came here this summer, like I would cook, I cook breakfast and stuff. And we sat down, my husband, all and we all sat down and ate as a family, you know. And I really loved that fact. And you know, because my husband loves her, you know, that's the that's the mother of his child. And so even like before they left, um, like he made sure you know they had some gas money, you know, or whatever. And I'm good with that because he's like, I'm gonna give. It. I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we want to make sure that they are okay. You know, they get ready to go back. You know, okay. Yes, you want to sleep in the room with me. She wants yes. to sleep in the room. Yeah. Yelled at me because I didn't bring dollars. Like, I got the business told to me. So, yeah. So, question How long did it take for the relationship between you two to be built? Um, um, I feel like we didn't. We got started getting more comfortable with each other after um, Christian went home with you guys after the her fifth grade graduation. She came back with us. Mm-hmm. We drove her back with us. Mm-hmm. She did. Because mm, remember, I had a tip with um, him about something, and I was just like, "You're not. That's not what we're going to do this summer." Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Yes, yeah. but but that's <laughs> about it. Like there is. Yeah, it didn't take long for our relationship to yeah. be built. Um, yeah. And the good thing is, like, even when he was in Afghanistan, um, even when, hey, Batman, how you doing? Bat, bat. Um, even when he was in Afghanistan, I would still talk to Christian, you know, mm-hmm. and what, um, and if I needed to get her, I could still get her if yeah. I wanted, you know, mm-hmm. because I still would get my other daughter. While he was over in Afghanistan, she would still come because she still had family, yeah. you know, that wanted to see her um, and stuff like that. So it didn't take our relationship um, long at all to be built. Um, I would say, you know, I met her over the phone. Right. Yeah. But I've never been one of those drama baby mamas. Like it's right. just like I gotta take care of Christian regardless of who's mm-hmm. there, who's not there. If he's in Afghanistan, he's overseas, whatever, whoever he married to, I still gotta take care of mm-hmm. Christian. So mm-hmm. there was never an issue because I was just like, okay. Right. It is what it is. Like just what am I gonna do about it? Nothing. Right. I'm gonna <laughs> do what I gotta do. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. And, right. You know. But my biggest thing was always I wanted to make sure that she's okay. You know, mm-hmm. the biggest not issue, but the main goal is the child. Mm-hmm. And that's what it should be in any co parenting relationship is the child is the the end result is making sure that the child is all right. Yeah, and I don't like middle I don't like the middleman thing. So like Chris used to be like, Well, Demetria said this and I was just like, Listen, I don't I don't want to talk to you then. Like I don't I need to talk to her, not to you, because I don't 
like middle. Like I don't like to be a middleman. I don't like to go around. I don't like to. If I need something and I need it done, or I want to ask her something, I'm asking her. I'm not calling him to be like, right. Hey, no, because that's how stuff get misconstrued. That is so I've always been not okay. No, let me call Demetria, or let me call Chris and keep it like that. Like it's right. not another. Yeah, but not right. the middle person. Can you ask this? Yeah, can you ask? Like, I'm not gonna. I'm not, right. I'm not, too much. Yeah, that's too um, much. <laughs> right. Um, and so, but I just love the fact that we have this relationship. And we can talk. So I was like, ooh, let's sit and talk about co-parenting. Yeah, she got me on the spot yesterday after I ate dinner. I, thought, belly I thought she was gonna say, Can you can you keep out Lily for me? Oh yeah. You can't have a full big face to make her. She's like, No, I need you to go on live with me. And I'm like, Oh, I'm not gonna work. No, 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 it wasn't working out. You thought you said it was working out. <laughs> no, it wasn't working out. No, 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 no working out. Um, but let's see, do we have any other questions? Um, I thought, I think this was really good and informative just to be able to come on and tell people about the importance of building strong relationships with the other parents. You know, um, two mothers that can get together. We have the same interest in hand, which is our daughter Christian. Um, and we may have two different approaches, but the end result, we understand. Like, right. Like, and we give each other space mm -hmm. to um, have a different approach, and we don't knock it down unless it's something detrimental, which is never anything. Yeah, because she's a she's a good kid, so we never yeah, have so that. we'll never we'll never have that issue. Mm -hmm. But just the importance of co-parenting with other parents and having a good foundation, a strong relationship, being able to communicate. That was the thing that she was saying. Yeah, that communication, important. communication. So if you don't communicate, then you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> communicate. You have to com communicate. If you're co-parenting, you have to be able to have a mature conversation, mature communication. Um, if it's not there yet, um, then you just it's something that has to be worked on but you have to really nurture that um don't let things fast or nip it in the bud and that's what yeah. any type of relationship whether it's a friend mm -hmm. a husband a wife a girlfriend a boyfriend whoever you have to open your mouth and speak up because that's right that's the worst thing to let stuff build up and fester and then all of a sudden one little thing and it's a whole catastrophe. right so remembering that in communicate and remembering that in co-parenting communication, speak it, say whatever it is, have a, a firm relationship with the other parent. And one of the things that she said, not do the middleman thing. Yeah. Call that parent or yeah. either call the spouse and say, hey, this is what it is. Yeah. You know, I need to know this or I need to know, mm -hmm. you know, I need to know that. And just always, of course, remembering that the the child is the biggest um the biggest exam, the biggest. Um, and you just can't take sides either. You have to find out what's really going on. Like not saying that it ever happened with Christian, but mm -hmm. like if she become him upset about something, I'm going to listen and say, okay, well, what happened? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let me call it on there and find out what, what happened. Right. Because there's always two sides to the story. Always. No matter what. It don't matter mm -hmm. who's right or who's wrong in it. The point is there's two sides to it. Mm -hmm. And just you know, listening, um, yeah. listening out. My mind, hers, and theirs. Like so, <laughs> nothing's right. going to get resolved. If you and even though if we it. might do things different, understand? Okay, we might do it a little different, mm -hmm. but it the end result was a good result. Um, so so we don't have any other questions, but thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And it's all about respecting each other. Like yes. I got a mouth like a sailor, but I know. She don't like that type of language in her house, so I try not to do that type of language. But if we are talking, uh, right. yeah, you know. And now, if we are talking, and she might see them like, I don't be like. Yeah. I mean, because I talk to people all the time that mm -hmm. you know, you know, and I mean, it. I mean, hey, all right. Um, but I respect the fact that she's like, okay, I know she don't talk yeah, like that. Yeah, like that's just certain things. You just this is her house. Like you gotta. Don't matter who I am, you have to show other, other people respect when you're in their area, right? right? In their house, and and that's the thing about yeah. showing each other respect and giving each other space to be who they are in yeah. this co-parent relationship, mm -hmm. um, in the co-parent relationship. So, um, thank you so much. Thank everybody for coming on. And how you know? 
We might be doing it. You never know. People might want to see us talk about it. We might have another topic or you know something that we can talk about. Um, and so hold on, Chris. Chris, come here. We're gonna bring on my husband real quick. He done got on his nerves this time. What, what y'all be doing together? Why y'all was gone so long earlier today? Come on in. Give us your perspective. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, hi. So we were talking about we were talking about co-parenting. Um, can you give everybody um not well from a male's point of view or whatever, what were how did you feel, you know, when you got married to me and you're like, okay, did you have any apprehensions? Like how's this gonna work with Christian's mom, with Nelvia or Hope it all works good. That was about it. Hope it all works good. And uh, <laughs> stop sitting looking like like Britain. Yeah. I hope it all works good. I don't know if you know co-parenting is tough, but you just gotta be honest with people, and then you gotta let people know over time what the true intent is. Um, and I got lucky. You no, know, co parenting is easy when you got two mature people who, um, who are great individuals, and they aren't selfish, and neither one of y'all is selfish. So, we I have think you enjoy this. Oh, because your face. I'm, 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 I'm smiling. You're yeah. just looking like. Yeah, <laughs> and so uh, co parenting is easy when the parents are mature people who they care about the kids, and um, but you know both y'all kind of similar. The whole workers are grinders, and you know you're pretty serious about kids. <laughs> um, but the main thing is, I like the fact that you're gonna have you have a great relationship, and it's not based on me; it's based on y'all. Uh, I don't like getting overvoted, but whatever. Um, Great happens sometimes, but you deal with it. But both of y'all are great, are great moms. That's the one thing about y'all. Y'all love the kids. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that y'all love each other's kids. Like the your kids. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Y'all get yelled at, fuss that, whatever. Y'all get, you know, and that's the amazing thing. Yeah. It happens in life and how you respond matters. So right. anybody that's looking to put parent, have the, you know, don't put off any hard conversations. That's right. Have the conversation up front. Oh, do not come on camera. Not looking like that. Never mind. Finish what you were saying. Come on, baby. You can sit. You can come. I'm just kind of like, come on. Come on, Dills. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is our tribe. Yeah. Britt upstairs. Britt upstairs playing video games. But yeah, yeah. co parenting is, uh, is amazing. They have good parents and, um, <laughs> and good Look at all parents. Parents. Uh, but um the world's gonna see this. So uh, for real. Um it's it's about the kids. As adults, we make our own decisions, we have our own lives, it's our job to deliver our kids into their purpose. So we're literally yeah, like the Yeah. So right. so when it's all about the kids. <laughs> You know, you really focus on the children. Mm -hmm. You really do focus on what they need. Make sure they get to where they need to go yeah. and everything else. <laughs> 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 Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. Yeah. And that, yeah, that's her. That's her big sissy. She loves her. Come on, Dale. Yeah. No. Christian, how do you how do you feel about me and your mom's relationship? You like it? Yes. <laughs> I don't not like it. <laughs> that's, not, that's not even English. You're not going to college with that kind of. I don't not like it. I do like it. Mm -hmm. How about having a bunch of brothers and sisters? She's just like, oh, you don't like that. My dad never gave me a Nope, that's my baby. Me too. Yes, y'all are my baby. Yeah. yeah, I'm all about the kids. Oh, that's fat. Especially girls. It's going to happen. Those are my babies. 
But thank y'all yeah, for y'all. coming on and talking to us. Um, we love y'all. Um, just remember co-parent and have those conversations. Give each other space, respect, and um, allow, stop Lily, allow each other <laughs> to be who you are. Um, and that's basically about it. Yep. Anything else? Deuces. Communication. Yes, please communicate. And yep. the child is the most important thing. Okay. The children's of the future. Peace and well. Please. Give them all the beauty. Oh, Give them a sense. Give of them a pride. sense of pride. Make it easier. Well, wait, uh, wait. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Thank y'all for joining in. We love y'all. Hey, this blended family. Bye. Yes. <laughs> Our blended family. <laughs>